Justin, you know that Collingwood set up really well. Is uh, Do they feel like the benchmark at the start of this season? Yeah, they do. And, I mean, they've just got so much depth all over the field, haven't they? So they've, they've got a really mature back six as well that have played a lot of footy together and um, they're impenetrable at the moment. I think they've not conceded more than 40 points in a game. So, yeah, they're, they're going really well and uh, they've grown on what they've done the last couple of years. Hey, Justin, the game yesterday... You know, four goals to three at quarter time. I, I don't think anyone's questioned your effort in the, in the three games you've had up there. I think people you might have surprised a lot of a lot of watchers. But yesterday, what stood out was the fact that you didn't have Pierce and you didn't have Hamling, and we know what Charlie Dixon did, and we know what uh, Westhoff did early. They were two significant players. How much impact does it have on a on a team, a young team, when you when your two keys at the back are missing and the two key forwards are actually dominating? Well, yeah, it is what it is. I'm really, I'm really confident in the tall defenders we've got down there. Um, they didn't play overly well last night, and there's a few positioning things we need to work on. But they're young; they'll learn from it. Um, yeah, and clearly we didn't handle the conditions well in that second quarter when it started raining. We tried to play like we did in the first quarter and tried to use our hands and flick it around, and it just wasn't the the weather for that. Um, you know, their big bodies around stoppage really got on top, and. Yeah, it gave their forwards some good supply. So, uh, yeah, we've got some inconsistencies in our game at the moment. Do you, did, did I read last week, I think Simpson was asked this question, I think he said it was the Dockers, soap on the ball or dishwashing liquid on the ball or something? Is, is that happening up there or am I making that up? No, you're not making that up. No, we're trying to go to all different um, lengths to try and get it, prepare our players. Um, you know, it doesn't rain a lot in Perth and... Quite often the WA footballers aren't used to wet weather football, so we're trying to get the balls a little bit slipperier, get some ball handling into them in slippery conditions. And it didn't really work for us on the weekend, but we feel like we've improved a, a small amount in that area. How did Jesse Hogan's return treat him? How, how did he feel about it all today? Yeah, he pulled up really well, um, and that's that's the, the best news about it. I mean, he was, he was a bit rusty in the conditions, and... He'll improve on what he did yesterday, but, um, you know, his, his competitiveness really stood out. Um, you know, he works really hard um, on the field. Um, you know, the goals and the, and the marks and, and all that sort of stuff will come um, with the more footy he plays. So it was good news that he pulled up. Um, we've got a short six-day break, so um, that's, that's positive news so, so far.